welcome back everyone to Mario's Paint Class. My name is Romario. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Hi Fire GTI Pro Light, so stay tuned. Let's jump into it, guys. The Hi Fire GTI Pro review. Nice decorations on the gun, it's not too heavy. Now, one thing it doesn't use a S15 adapter that I use for my PPS cups, but a S27 does fit, or you can use a regular cup. On the cap here, you would see where it says TE20, and on the inside, it has a 1.3 tip. Um, it's overall the gun looks good the decoration is nice and um, it feels just the same now i set up all my guns the same screw off the fluid cap and then i catch it on there once i catch it on hold the trigger turn it until i feel a push on that finger and then i'll know my gun is ready to go before i start painting let's take a look at what i have going on here i have a oem brand new acura mdx rear bumper so before I start painting, I have to make sure that I prep this bumper really good so that the paint doesn't flake off in a couple months or a year. Prepping wise, I'm using the 400 grit sandpaper on the backing pad or the soft pad, however you call it. This way the scratches is not too rough. I can go this rough because I am going to be sealing the bumper. Once I'm done with the DA sanding, I go ahead and use a scuff pad. The scuff pad is going to get into all those places that I could not reach with the DA. The edges in these little creases because you know we have to get everything scuffed up because once the paint hit those places and it cannot stick, it's going to start to flake off and once it starts flaking, there is no stopping it. Once you're done with the sanding and the scuffing, go ahead and clean off your bumper or panel before you get it into the booth. I got cleaned outside time to get clean inside now most of you may know I use two cleaning agents before I paint first I go ahead and use a solvent based cleaner once I'm done with the solvent based cleaner I use a water based cleaner Now 
Now this is the water based cleaner and I like to use this microfiber towel for my final wipe. They really get into it, you know, they pick up a lot more than the regular um, disposable rags and it leaves little to no length. Time to get the party started. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my gun to about 26 PSI. Now, my aim here with the sealer is to get some meat on the panel, so I do not want it to be too thin. That's coming out a little too thin for me, so I'm gonna dial it down a bit to about 24 PSI. Also, I'm using a much lighter sealer than I would normally use because I want you guys to see just how the gun performs, see how it's flowing, see the pattern and how the fan is doing.
and that concludes the painting you can see for your very own eyes the gun is doing a great job laying down the paint no streaks no modeling no blotchiness now by the way what do you think is the main reason for streaks leave a comment down below let us know what are your thoughts on that And after two beautiful coats of clear, we have here a beautiful end result. A little to no orange peel and we have a great clarity. You can clearly see reflections through the bumper. That's a clear indication telling you that the panel have a good quality paint. conclusion guys in my opinion that gun is a good gun it's no dv1 and it's no techno but it gives good results it's a great gun for anyone to go ahead and use and you don't have to break the bank it can do it all seal paint and clear so that's the end for today guys until next time see you on the next one